Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Vamsetti. Today we'll see the concept of DBT seeds. Okay, so seeds are nothing but the CSV files. It will transform into tables. Okay, so this is one of the feature in DBT. Okay, so we'll discuss step by step. Okay, so in this video, I'll cover what is DBT seeds, what are it called as, and how to run DBT seeds, how to and how can you refer seeds in a model and some of the real-time use cases and see the practical explanation also you can also see. Okay, let us discuss one by one. So first one, what is DBT seeds? So DBT seeds are nothing but say CSV files in the DBT project. In the DBT project, these are called as CSV files. Okay, it will transform CSV files data into data warehouse. It can be Snowflake data warehouse or BigQuery or anything. Okay, see Redshift, okay, now what happened? So see, when you execute DBT seed, what happened? Convert CSV files into tables okay so it will transform csc files data into data warehouse in the form of tables it is mainly suitable for small data sets okay db seeds are useful for only for small data sets and for static data that is not frequently changed okay so we'll go for dbt seeds one more time seeds are nothing but so it's a csv files it converts csv files into tables in the respective data warehouse useful for static data and for small data sets okay and how to run seeds now with the help of dbt seed command. Okay, when you exit this dbt seed command, it will convert the CSV file into respective table in the particular data warehouse. Okay, so by using dbt seed, we can able to execute the seed. Next one, how to refer dbt seed. Okay, so seeds can be referred with the help of Jinja template that is select star from. So the Jinja template. So reference the file, the seed, seed CSV file name, we should put without any extension. So select star from. Okay, see reference by using rough keyword. Okay, the seed name that is nothing but CSV file name without any extension. That dot CSV should we should not mention. Okay, so this is the by this we can able to reference the DBD seed. And some use cases are nothing but like the lookup tables, some zip codes, currency and country codes. Okay, see employed. Order. So these are the like some of the frequent use like static data, the currency code and the currency country codes are static data. Okay, so like this we can able. Now we'll see the practically we we'll log into DBT Cloud and we can able to execute one CSV. Okay, now this is the DBT Cloud. Okay, now we'll see what is the database it is pointing to. So current database and the current schema. So control enter. Okay, see, so this is pointing to analytics database DBT schema. Now, see here what happened. So, see, by using we are pointing to analytics database and a DBT schema. So, in this database, in this schema, I want to find list of tables. See, as of now, there is no tables are there. Now, go back here. Now, click on this seeds folder. Okay, so click on so plus symbol create a file. What is you know seeds are nothing but say CSV file. Now I'm trying to create so currency list dot CSV. Okay, so this is the file name. So currency list dot CSV create and give some name. Okay, so like we can go for country code. Okay, see country code. Okay, two three records country code and the country name. So two columns I am trying to populate. Okay. So for like IND, India, so USA, so United States, AUS, Australia, so for, okay, some dominant guys, AUS, Australia. Now save the same, save the file. Okay, now what happened, what is in how to exit the DBT, okay, so how to exit the seeds, using, so see, by using DBT, dbt seed okay now what happened if I exit this dbt seed what happened it will convert the csc files and a table will be created in the snowflake and the database and dbt schema so dbt seed control enter you see now what happened okay see the system logs it is getting running dbt okay see complete successfully now if you scroll on what happened okay so see the details Okay, so table will be created. Okay, see table. Okay, so for confirmation purpose, okay, see, go back here and search for show tables. Okay, see, refresh the same thing. We'll get the database, analytic database, DBT schema, a table. Uh, how to see the database? Select star from currency list. Okay, so the name of the table is nothing but what? So the name of the table is the file name. 
So currency list without any extension. Got the point. So this is okay. Now next point is that what how to refer to this DBT seed. Okay. So like I want to refer this DBT seed. Okay. How can I refer? Select start from. Okay. See. Okay. So by using we can able to we should pass the our currency list. So try to come pre preview the data. We can able to preview the data. Okay, like this way, you can able to refer this same thing. Okay. Okay, we can able to get it. Okay, so like this way. So DBC, when you create, when you exit this DBC, what happened? It will convert a table in the, it will create a table in the Snowflake data warehouse with the same name without any extension. So current list, currency list, the so C name of the table is same. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.